We want to turn now to breaking news from overseas, where moments ago we found out who the next British prime minister will be. Let's bring in NBC News foreign correspondent Molly Hunter, who is live in London for us. Molly, who is it? It is Rishi Sunak, as we expected, as we thought might happen over the weekend. Mika, it has been a dramatic few days. Of course, we saw yesterday former Prime Minister Boris Johnson dropping out of a race that he had never officially entered. We have not heard a word from Rishi Sunak, the former finance minister. Mika, it's really important to note, not only is he one of the youngest prime ministers ever for this country, he will be the first non-white prime minister to walk in to 10 Downing. Now, just minutes ago, we did see a tweet from Penny Mordaunt. She was the other contestant. I'm just going to read this. This is kind of, there was no announcement. We just saw her concession tweet, and that is how we knew uh, that Rishi Sunak gets the top job. She says, our party is our membership. Whether we are elected representatives, activists, fundraisers, or supporters, we all have a stake in who our leader is. She says, as a result, we have now chosen our next prime minister. This decision is a historic one and shows once again the diversity and talent of our party. Rishi has my full support. The deadline was 2 o'clock. So over the last several days since Prime Minister Liz Truss stepped down, it has been a race to 100, 100 backers to get on this short list before it went to a potential runoff among Conservative Party members. Uh, the contenders needed 100 backers. Now, Penny Morden's camp claimed she had more than 90 backers. We have not seen those 90 numbers. Over the weekend, Boris Johnson also claimed that he had 102 backers. Those names have also not been public. Uh, so it looks like Rishi Sunak uh, will be asked to form a government very, very soon. All right. NBC's Molly Hunter live in London. Thank you so much. And Mika